Hey guys, you're watching Kitty Crafts, and today I'll be showing you how I made five Power Bead DIYs that are specifically for your phones or iPods. I'm sorry for the late upload, but hopefully, combining five projects into one video will make up for it. And let's get started from the easiest to the hardest project. The first DIY is Power Bead Phone Charms. It's very simple and all I did was create some small designs on my pegboard and if you have mini power beads that would be perfect because you can make a lot of small designs using a lot more beads. I'm making a rainbow heart, a rainbow and a popsicle. So after I'm done ironing the finished designs, all I have to do is attach a small metal ring to the charms and then put on the phone straps. You can get these supplies from craft stores, but I recommend going to eBay because they have them for very low prices. And there you go. Now you can make your phone stand out with charms that you made all by yourself. The second DIY is a cookie cat earphone organizer. You may have seen many variations of this on YouTube and it's really fun to come up with your own design. Cookie Cat is from Steven Universe and uh, you can come up with pretty much anything as long as it doesn't take up too much space. This is the Cookie Cat design that I made. You can copy that right here. Don't forget that one eye is pink and the other is white. I made two of these heads and then I also made these two pieces here. These two pieces will be glued in between the cat faces and then that's how your earphones will be able to wrap around the cookie cat. I'm using hot glue for this, but really any super glue would work. And I'm just gluing these two pieces together first. Make sure that the pink side and white side are aligned with the appropriate eyes. So that's how it will be glued. And then I'm just getting more glue and making sure it's secured. Try to align these two faces together and this is what the organizer should look like all assembled. Now you don't have to deal with this kind of tangled mess and Cookie Cat will have your earphones neatly organized. If you find it too troublesome to wrap your earphones around something, the third DIY will show you how to make tangle-free earphones. Again, you may have seen this project done many times on YouTube, but here I've compiled a whole bunch of different color combinations that you can try. You can just search up different combinations online and you'll find some really cool patterns. So for my earphones, I'll be using this rainbow and this three color combination. When attempting this DIY, you'll need to be really careful because you'll be needing an X-Acto knife, something like this, or when you're using like one of these art knives. So to get the power beads onto your earphone wire, you'll have to make one incision onto the side of the bead. Oh, I feel like a surgeon. As you can see, it's quite soft because power beads are so easily melted, so it has to be a really soft material. And I'm not putting too much effort into it. It's just going straight down. And now these three beads have a slit in them where you can kind of open the bead up like that. See? So now I have my cord here, and I want my bead to wrap around it. You can use pliers to help you out with this, or you can just use your bare hands, but then that is also kind of hard to do. And I'm just trying to get this in. There we go. So see, it's wrapped around the wire, and once you let go, it will close back on itself. And there you go, that's the first bead on your cord. Just continue the process until you have covered the entire cord. Also, I wanted to mention that I left quite a bit of space here because I don't want this to be like completely tight. If I filled this up with beads, then the cord will not be able to bend freely. So if I do that in this way, I can still bend it up like this and just throw it in my bag. So just make sure you take note of that. Once you're done, you should have something that looks like this. Trust me, this is really simple to do. It's just that it takes forever to cut all of the beads and then attach them onto the cord. But in the end, it's all worth it because now you'll have some tangle-free headphones. 
The fourth DIY is this Powerbead phone station. I use it to watch YouTube videos while also charging my iPod when it runs low on battery. One of my subscribers suggested to make a Powerbead phone, but I didn't want to make something so simple, so I decided to make this phone-shaped phone stand and let's get started. To make the stand, I'm using two pieces and this is gonna be going on top of this. And basically, I just made my phone based on this. If you have a bigger phone, then you just make it according to that size. And I think this stand is more suitable for smaller phones like the iPhone SE or anything before iPhone 5. I just made this kind of curved rectangular shape and I added my apps here, I put a time. Make sure that there is a slot here and you'll see why. I made a second piece that will go behind it. I didn't really care what color the back was so I just used the translucent beads that I don't regularly use. But it's cool because like it can kind of glow like this if you put it in the light. This one will also have a slot and it will be right here like that. Once aligned, you see that this slot continues through the back and that brings me to this piece. This will be the surface where the iPod will be standing on. When I take this piece and put it through like so, it will have this surface here for the iPod to stand on and also this back part that will act as the stand. You see there's a gap between these two pieces, so you can glue these two if you want. And then this piece here will just be like that, it will be slanted. And as you can see, the iPod is kind of heavy on this, so I made this piece, that's why there's a hole here, so that it can go inside. So that's what the stand should look like. And with this piece, it will help push this up forward so that it doesn't bend down too much. And that is the top stand part. So I hope you were able to understand what I was doing. This piece basically helps prop this part up just in case it starts bending. Also remember that I left this area just so I could put the chargers through. And now let's start making the dock. The dock is a very basic jigsaw box that can perfectly fit this exact stand because this part, which is the top part of the box, will be able to hold this part like that so that it clicks in and then this will allow the cord to go through as well. This is the bottom piece. It's pretty much the same thing except there's no holes. These are the side pieces. Again, you can just choose any design. I decided to use colors that I didn't regularly use and then I made some lightning bolts. This will be the front part. This I made a battery that looks like it's fully charged. And then this is the back where I made a battery that is really low. There's a slot here where the cord will be able to fit through and then you can plug it in. Assembly is quite easy. You just have to take this just attach it like that. Just like many of my other jigsaw projects, you just click it in and it will stay. And that is the dock. Now let's try to put the stand on top and it will fit. Now I'm gonna set up the cords so that you can see what it looks like when it's charging. Okay, so now I've got my charging dock all set up. The cable comes through the box, goes through the back to the outlet. Here I can attach my iPod and ta-da! Now you've got a powder bead charging dock and stand. And if you're not charging and you just want to hold your phone up just to watch a show or something, you can just take this out and then this can just be used as a regular stand. My final DIY is my most ambitious one. It is a phone dock slash sound amplifier, but technically it's just a sound redirectioner. Yeah, well anyway, it's just supposed to make your music sound louder when you're playing it on this dock. To make the part that will be holding the phone, I have two types of pieces. There's this O piece and a C piece. Here I have six O pieces and 17 of the C pieces. And what I'm doing is stacking all these C pieces together. I'll have to glue them all in between. And then I'll get the O pieces, three on each side. 
and then I get this, put it here, and then I get the other three and put it on the other side. So in the end, it will look... Oh gosh, this is hard. In the end, it should look something like this. But first, let's glue it all. Now I'm going to make the bells. You can just follow these patterns in its exact order. You can use any pattern, but I'm going to choose rainbow. All of these pieces will create the right speaker. And all I'm doing is stacking these pieces, the purple one on top of each other. Then that one will go on top of this blue piece to create the back of the speaker. And then I'm just going to keep stacking these on top of each other using hot glue to glue in between. And then eventually I'll reach the top part which will be the red ring. And that'll be the speaker. Make sure that this part that kind of hooks up is at the bottom. And when I do the left speaker, it'll be like this. So always make sure this part that goes out is on the bottom. After making the left and right speaker, I'm getting this middle dock and then you see this hole here, I can stick this right through as well as this one. And then that becomes a cool little dock that you can put your phone in and then also play music. Okay, so let's see if this thing actually works. I recommend using this only for iPods or iPhones because the Samsung phones have the speaker on the back, like it's over here, and then the iPhone speaker is down here, so it would be easier for the sound to go through this tunnel and through the bells. I really don't know if this will work, but let's see if you hear any difference in loudness. So this isn't really an actual speaker or amplifier because of course I'm not using any energy or electricity to make the energy waves bigger or whatever. <sighs> I don't know how the physics works but I think it's just that when I have my iPod outside of this, the sound is just going in all random directions but then when I put it in here, it has only one direction to go and it's towards my ears where I want it to be. So that's why it sounds louder or I guess fuller. but. Yeah, that's just for fun, and of course you can always use this as a dock and just put stuff in here if you want. You can keep this in here, or you can just leave other stuff in here. Well, I wouldn't say it failed, but like it's not as loud as you would think it would be. It just makes it slightly louder. There is a small difference. And this is the last DIY. Alright guys, this is the end of the video. I made five different DIY Polar Beat phone accessories. Starting from easiest to hardest, I made these phone charms. Then I got this Cookie Cat earphone holder. Some Tangle Free Polar Beat earphones. A Polar Beat phone charging station. And of course this rainbow dock that has a function of amplifying or just redirecting sound. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm sorry for the late upload. I'm trying to spend the last few weeks of summer before going to university. I'm also not sure if I'll be able to film stuff as much as I want when I'm at school because I want to be studying and 
making sure that I pass. So hopefully I'll still be able to film stuff and also make more Pearl Beat projects. I also want to try other projects that aren't relating to Pearl Beat, so I hope you're okay with that. And don't forget that I have my ongoing giveaway of this Minecraft Steve figure. Just follow the rules there and you'll have a chance to win this guy. It's ending really soon. And thank you again so much for watching. I'll see you next time with another Cutie Craft.